Hello my YouTube and internet friends. My channel is all about showing you how you can do your art journaling, mixed media and crafting on a low budget. I make easy to follow process tutorial videos for art journaling and mixed media. My name is Ilona, better known on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and WordPress as Picture for Life. Every Thursday you will find new and free easy tutorial videos for art journaling and mixed media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon to follow me on my creative journey. I'm all about keeping it simple, even if it looks difficult. Trust me, it's not. So join me for a new, fun and low budget mixed media project. So this is the back side of my Hawaiian hand painted folding fan. In the first video I showed you a new fun technique to stamp on these curved areas and I found a really simple solution and to see that video I will put a link below in the description and at the end of the video so you can see part one of this hand painted mixed media folding fan. But on this side I only wanted to do a painting. I never painted before like this but I saw a few videos and I thought how hard can this be? Well, the background was giving me heaps of trouble. My goal was to make a night sky with lots of different colors that blend into each other. But like I said, this background did not want to do what I wanted to do. Because I wanted to have a rainbow kind of, of colors. Starting with yellow and then orange and then red and then purple. And just make a beautiful night sky. Well, it might have been smarter if I had thought this process through before I started because when you see in this video I was just going from right to left from top to bottom <laughs> everywhere in between there was no rhyme or reason here it was just trial and error but luckily in the end it all worked out so <laughs> be patient and have some fun I'm struggling with the different paints here they all react different like this pink metallic paint doesn't work for me here and the red paint I used next is a super thick, maybe a heavy body paint. And it took me some time to figure out that it worked much better when I mixed a little water in. Here I'm trying to blot off some paint with a rag. And it's actually a happy accident because it lifts up some of the color and shows some of the color underneath. And I just love that effect. I wanted to do a nice sky with lots of different colors, but the lighter colors did not react the way I liked them to. After a while of struggling, I decided to go for a darker sky. The last thing I need to do is put my Hawaiian beach with the palm trees in. And I actually was thinking when I started this project that this would be the hardest part. But it turned out to be the most easy part of this whole hand painted fan. I watched a few videos how to make palm trees. And at first I thought it would be really hard. I do not have that much of a steady hand and that is easy with this kind of stuff. I just did two practice palm trees on a piece of paper just to see how it felt putting my pencil on and giving more pressure or less pressure which made the lines thinner or thicker and then I practiced my palm trees where I needed to do a sort of a flicking move with my wrist and do it really quickly because when I did it slowly it became awful. The best advice I can give you is just try it on a piece of paper and then when you feel comfortable enough go do it on whatever you're working on. Don't wait till you do it perfectly because I don't want to do 10 paintings of Hawaiian beaches with palm trees. It doesn't need to be that perfect. Thank you. 
Also experiment with the thickness of your paint. It might be easier if it's more runny. The consistency is really important to get the right look. And also because I had this fan to work on, which was not a flat surface, but it was kind of uneven. I really needed my paint to be a little bit fluid, more fluid. I found that that was working for me the best. I could make smoother lines and then when I made the palm leaves I wanted to have a little bit thicker consistency because that gave a better effect. It might depend on your background, it might depend on your paint and it might depend on your personal preference but do experiment with that as well. It can be making a lot of difference in your end result. And be sure to check out the first part of this video where I did some stamping on this uneven canvas that I'm working on. And I found actually a pretty simple solution to just do that. So be sure to check that out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you back next Thursday with a new video. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.